Welcome back to Beginning Beekeeping in Texas. Um, this is going to be a video on feeding your bees pollen patties. Um, pollen patties contain, I believe, 5 to 10% po uh, protein, which uh, substitute pollen. That's why they call them pollen patties. So, um, this is a hive that got going not probably midsummer late spring um i mean they're they're getting big uh but they don't have very much pollen as you can see they're going straight for this patty and um so i just want to share some tips with you um normally i have it on top of the uh the super here but normally you would put it between the two brood boxes right about there and then you kind of smash it down. You see like I smashed it down. Because um, you need about, you need to get in within that clearance. Or if you don't, then uh, what will happen is you're going to have like a space between your, your boxes here. And then the robbers can get in, ants, bugs. Um, and it's no bueno. So let me just show you real quick. So I've got my little chef's table set up here. Get your hive tool. And I'll have to excuse the camera work. I have to hold my phone and do this. So you cut it into the strips here. You see I have it. You try to keep as much of the wax paper on as you can. This is going to discolor your gloves, but hey, beekeeping. So then you do the smash. And you have to keep these frozen. I wrap them in saran wrap, just because you can see it's just a mess when they uh, thaw. But I've had these for about a year, and uh, they're still perfectly good after freezing. So you get your uh, smash patty here, and what the one inch does is it limits, and the wax paper, it limits the exposure to um high beetles and what the high beetles will do if you have open patty is they will lay right in the middle if you have a, especially if a big patty like you know this size they're gonna lay right in the middle here where the bees can't get to them you'll see like these little white dots that's uh small high beetle eggs and then all of a sudden you'll just have this explosion of high beetles they absolutely love pollen patties. Um, if you're looking for these, you can find them in the links below in the description. Um, wait, look at this, it's like a buffet. So they're absolutely loving these. Like I said, it's probably 90% carbohydrates, but you have protein, which they use to rebrood, which is what you need. Um, we still got quite a bit of summer left here in North Texas. Uh, it's August, mid August, no, late August now, um, but uh, we just got a good rain, flowers coming out, they're actually starting to bring in some pollen I saw, so hopefully there's a little bit of pollen in the wild, but this will supplement them, and uh, so I'm also feeding, try not to go too fast, this hive over here, um, it was a laying worker hive and then uh so what i had to do was shake them out and about only an eighth of the hive came back i probably had five five frames of bees left in that box when all was said and done um we've got them up to most of this box is full now and then i supplemented them with some laying uh not laying work with some capped workers i got about three frames of capped workers in there from a very large hive i believe this one and um so then here I've got two or three frames of honey that I didn't extract, so I'm just feeding it to them. And uh, yeah, so we've got probably five or six, like four or five strips of pollen patty right in here. And that's what you want. This is just kind of me getting hot and sweaty and they're still taking it though. This will probably be gone in a week. That's all I wanna do though. You wanna kind of be sparing with this stuff because um, 
like I said, the, the small hive beetles will get a hold of it and then you're going to be in a world of hurt. So, um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm working with YouTube to get my comments re-enabled. Uh, and then hopefully we'll go from there. But uh, you can also find me on Facebook, uh, Gold Legion Honey. If you uh, want to have questions, comments, you know, um, feel free. And uh, thanks again. Have a good day.